So in this video, I'm going to go through cable and power management. Uh, and it's not just about keeping the cables all nice and tidy and wrapped up or making sure that you've got enough power supplied to your uh, astronomy equipment, um, but also the case of how to actually do it or what my setup is for this, uh, for the management of, it, of everything. So if you're probably like myself, um, you started off with just a simple telescope. Um, this is the, the AD80, which I've got myself. And then obviously you needed a, a mount um, to use the telescope or to place the telescope on top of. And then you soon discovered, like myself again, there was a cool feature called Go2 or SynScan, which allowed you to direct and point the telescope but to do that, um, we obviously need um, a single power supply, which is one cable to the equipment. Over time, you then realize that um, you can get a few more features um, or cool improvements to the mount if you can connect it to a laptop rather than using the handheld controller. So using um, a cable like this, um, which is a, a USB cable with a special chip in, that allows um, the signals from the mount to be sent to the laptop and the laptop to send the signals back to the, the, the mount itself. Um, we, we add this cable in, so there's another cable coming out of our equipment. Moving on from that over time, again, probably like myself, you realized that you didn't just want to do visual uh, astronomy, but it would also be cool to take some pictures, take some images, share, the, share them with your friends and family. Um, so, like a lot of people who start astrophotography, they add the likes of a DSLR camera, which, of course, a DSLR camera has a USB cable, again, going back to your PC or your laptop, so the two bits of equipment can talk to each other. Um, so, obviously, over time, using the camera, using um, the telescope as your primary lens, you realize that you start on the late dark nights to have uh, dew problems. As the temperature gets low, um, that creates the dew around the lens and obviously fogs or, or mists the lens up, um, stopping decent images or, or any, any visuals really. So this is where I then added um, a dew band, again, just placed around the primary lens um, heats the area up, stops the dew forming, which is great. But yet again, another cable that has to come from the equipment. So moving on as, as um, we we'll, we'll get more into the hobby, the next thing we decide we want to do is obviously add a guide scope and a, a guide camera. Um, so this allows us to get longer exposures for each individual frame. Um, so normally without one of these, you could probably get, I don't know, 30 to 60 seconds without star trails. Adding a guide scope and the camera allows you to get two, three, four, possibly five minutes um, if, if it's really good guiding. However, we we'll add one of these. Again, that's another cable that has to go between the equipment and back to the laptop or the PC via a USB cable. So, of course, um, We've added another, another um, uh, lens, another camera uh, through the guide scope. Um, so we need another dew heater or another dew band um, to help with that lens. Again, another cable coming from uh, our telescope equipment. Over time, this is what um, sometimes it feels like we end up with. Um, a hazard, it's possible to trip up in the dark nights. Um, you know, if one cable becomes loose, it's in a, a panic or a concern to try and figure out where the loose connection is, um, et cetera, et cetera. And also, you know, yes, we're in the dark. Yes, we can't really see the setup, but we all know that having, um, you know, cables hanging everywhere is not really the best, um, you know, best to have around your telescope. As it's turning, as it's um, tracking, Cables can get caught, cables can get stuck. Um, and if the worst comes to the worst, a cable could get pulled out the back of a bit of equipment. So what um, I've got here is just a diagram which shows based on um, the cables um, that we've just been talking about, you know, how many cables we've actually got coming 
um, out of the various bits of equipment for power. And likewise, how many USB cables we would have coming out of the equipment back to the laptop. Um, and you can imagine, as I said before, several of these trailing, um, you know, whether it's back to your, your living room, um, a part of your garden or something like that, um, it's potential for somebody to snag these. So what I'm going to show you is um, the, the setup that I've got. Um, and we've got all the same bits of equipment, um, but these go back to uh, two bits of hardware. One is called a Pegasus Pocket Power Box, and the other one is the powered USB hub. And they um, attach to the telescope, and then what this allows us to do is only have two trailing cables going from um, these two bits of hardware or equipment back to the laptop. Well, one, one back to the laptop, the USB um, goes back to the laptop and then just one power supply goes to our mains uh, connection or power supply connection, sorry. So the, um, the Pegasus Pocket Power Box, um, this isn't going to be a review specifically of it, um, but I just want to say that I'm very, very impressed with the hardware, with the connections, um, and even with the, the software that comes with it. So it's not just a, 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 you know, a power supply as such with, it, with a various number of connections on it. It's also got some power management software, which allows you to control the individual um, power outputs and also you can, you can control the strength of the dew heaters. This is the, um, the powered USB hub that I use. Um, it's actually lightweight, but um, very robust. Uh, it's got seven USB ports. It is powered um, as well, which, is, which, which helps. And then obviously just one um, USB cable going back to the laptop. So let's take a look um, further how I use these. Um, and as you can see here, um, I've got the, um, the pocket power USB um, box, sorry, attached to the side of my telescope. Um, and just to show how lightweight it is, um, this is just attached with um, a few strips of, of Velcro. And likewise, on the other side of the telescope as well, I've got the uh, powered USB hub um, attached with Velcro too. So I'm just going to walk you through the different connection types um, that we've, we've got um, here. So the first one, um, indicated by the red arrow on the, 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 the power pocket box, is the actual DSLR um, out uh, power. So this cable runs to the DSLR camera that I've got. Um, and you can see on the right hand side via the arrow again, this is just the other side of the connection um, for, for that. Now, what I've actually got is a USB power kit adapter. And rather than running it um, via an actual DSLR battery or Canon battery, which would only last an hour or 90 minutes or so, um, by using this and powering this, it allows us to run the Canon or the DSLR camera uh, throughout the night without any power issues or without having to switch out the batteries. The next two connections here are identified with the red arrows are the two dew heaters um, that I've got placed. So you can see here, I've got one around the primary lens, um, which is a telescope itself. And then I've got a second one, a smaller band around the guidance scope itself as well. So this obviously just keeps the dew away from the lenses, from the mirrors, uh, well, not the mirrors, but lenses, um, and, and stops any fogging up um, and allows for a nice clear, um, image to come through the scope. Okay, so the, the next USB, sorry, the next um, uh, socket down is actually the USB um, data connection. And this just runs directly to the USB powered hub. And that then goes onto the PC. Um, so the, the, the uh, pocket power box has to be um, connected obviously back to the PC. Um, to control the power and control the dew heaters, etc. 
but this cable here just runs around short to the uh, USB power hub on the other side. And then the cable at the bottom there, the, the grey one, um, that comes with the, uh, the, the power pocket hub um, and it is an actual temperature sensor. So this temperature sensor um, is used for the, 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 the local temperature or the environment around the telescope fed back in and this is how the strength of the dew heaters or the power that's going to the dew heaters is controlled. So as the temperature drops, um, the, the, the pocket power uh, hub um, increases the power to the dew heaters and automatically increases the temperature around them as well. So that's a, a nice little touch uh, that comes with it. Uh, finally, well, not finally, but on the right hand side, um, at the bottom right there, we've got four uh, 12 volt, volt outputs. Uh, the first one I'm using to power the HEQ5 uh, mount itself. And obviously it needs power for the motors, for the tracking to engage, et cetera, et cetera. The next one up uh, here is the direct power um, that connects the USB powered hub on the other side. So yes, you know, it's a given being a powered hub, it requires power and one of these 12 volt outputs uh, does that for us. Um, the outputs three and four, I don't use them in my setup, uh, but it's good to have them spare for future use. And then the top um, is actually the mains power supply for the power pocket box. Um, again, you know, it's a, an electronic bit of hardware, so therefore it of course needs powering. And this is um, one of the two cables that we have coming away from the, the mount and the setup. Um, and this runs directly to um, the mains power or the socket, et cetera, in your, in your room. Um, so we've got all of these various cables um, onto the power pocket box which are just going around the, the telescope or the mount itself. So short cables or cables that have been wrapped up. And this is the only one cable that comes away, as I said, and, and we have to uh, power the box with that. Um, so later on, you'll see a, a zoomed out picture where, where you see this is the only single cable um, from, from the equipment. Moving on to the, um, the powered USB hub, which again is on the other side of the mount velcroed on. Starting with this, we have the power supply from the pocket power box, um, supply in the, the USB hub. Next one down is the actual USB cable that goes direct to the, the, the PC or the back of your laptop. So this is the second cable um, that, that, I guess, runs away from the equipment. Um, or from your from your, your mount on your telescope, um, and this is what obviously transfers the the data or it is the data connection between your laptop and all the instructions or the, or the um, the information that has to be sent uh, to the various equipment that you're using. Great thing about USB um, is that it's clever enough that um, you can have multiple USB connections or bits of equipment like the various cameras attached and you only need the one USB cable running back to you, your laptop. And moving down, so the first um, actual USB cable in there is the um, EQDIR uh, cable. So this is a special USB cable with a, a kind of a special instruction chip in it uh, or microchip in it. And this is what controls your mount. And what the chip does is it interprets the, uh, the instructions from the laptop and sends them to the mount. And likewise, if anything needs to come from the, the electronic boards in the mount back to the laptop, um, this, this cable uh, does that for you. So it is a special USB cable. It's not just a standard USB cable. Um, and I'll put links to examples of this um, underneath this video in the description. Okay, so next cable down um, is the DSLR um, USB cable. Um, and you can see here the arrow pointing to the left side of my camera. And this is just, again, the data connection 
between the camera itself and running all the way back to the laptop via, via the powered USB hub. Um, very important without this, um, unless your camera's got a Wi-Fi connection, uh, this is used to transfer the images, but likewise from the laptop to the camera, it also sends the instructions for the likes of the DSO, sorry, the ISO or the, the, the exposure length settings for your camera. Um, okay, so the next um, cable down is the USB data connection to the uh, pocket power box. Um, so again, yes, that's a bit of hardware, um, but it still needs to be controlled with regards to the strength of the dew heaters and the output of the um, of, of, of the power ports, etc. Um, and the software, as I showed you a screenshot before, runs locally on your laptop or your PC, and this helps uh, that, that, that data connection. Um, the final um, USB cable is to the guide scope um, that I've got. So the guide scope um, is attached to the back of a Skywatcher finder. Um, and it's an ASI 120 uh, mini um, camera, which is, is mono, just used for guiding. Um, but again, this has a USB connection and it needs to feed the, um, the live image or the live stream back to the laptop, um, which is where the processing is done and helps the guiding happen. Um, and, you know, like what I was saying before, but there um, several um, USB um, cables all running into the powered hub. And the great thing about this is we only have one um, USB cable going back to the laptop with all of this data and all of this information. So rather than, you know, trying to point you around the various cables, um, this is just a, a little um, diagram of the various connections that we've got how they are connected back to the, the pocket power box or how they are connected back to the, the powered USB hub. And then the two red arrows indicate or show the single two cables uh, for the power supply and for the USB cable to the laptop. Um, these are the only two cables that are running away from the mount from the equipment. So the great thing about this is again in the dark, um, or the late nights, it's, it's less cables to worry about, less cables to trip over, um, and less cables to try and, you know, stretch or extend. Um, and then here, the final um, uh, image or picture that I've got, as you can see from the foot of the tripod, are those two power supply and USB cables, which would obviously go to your mains or would go, go to the back of your laptop. So hopefully the video has been of interest, a um, little bit of information or something that helps you with your setup um, as you add more and more equipment to it or more and more cables in this instance to it. Um, if you've liked what you've watched, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, if you're liking the videos that I'm producing, please subscribe to the channel. Um, we've got plenty more Astro uh, guides in the pipeline and ideas and thoughts. Um, but appreciate all the views um, and keep the comments coming as well. Uh, so that's all for the minute. Um, thank you very much for watching.